guys, welcome to Herbie's Reef. We thought we would do a quick tank update today just to kind of show you some of the new fish and different things that we've done with the tank. Um, and then later today we're going to cut our big gonopora and we thought we would video that because it's getting so big it's starting to sting this um, monty that's above it. And we're going to have to cut it at some point so we figure we practiced on the aura red and so we figure this will be our next step. So uh, as far as the update goes, we, we did end up getting rid of one of the two fox faces we had. They were fighting all the time and they knocked over a torch into these elegances at the bottom. You can, uh, it, they knocked a torch over into it and it ended up killing it. So we decided it was time for the big, the big one that uh, caused the most trouble to go. So we got, finally got her trapped and got rid of her. And then we added these two guys, we've got the uh, copper band. We picked him up from a fish store that, and he was eating. So we've tried a couple of times with these and never been successful. But this one, um, one of the fish store employees had actually owned for a while. And he eats pretty well, but he's slow at eating. So I hope he will be able to fight for food well enough to keep uh, to get it away from the trigger fish. But we have high hopes that he'll make it. And then we added this little sailfin tang. We were gonna put him in the drag tank until he grew, but um, we figured we would decrease the aggression by adding a couple of fish at once. So we went ahead and put him in here. And I don't know, he may outgrow this tank at some point, but for now he'll be uh, happy here. And hopefully by the time he's too big, we will either upgrade or something to so that we can keep him. And we added a little uh, blue tank that he's been in our frag tank for a long time. He, when we got him, we saw him at Petco and we just couldn't leave him there. He was like the size of my thumb, maybe my thumbnail when we got him. And now he's about, oh, maybe an inch and a half, two inches big. And he, I don't know, I thought he was going to, had a 50-50 chance of being bullied, but really not many of the fish pick on him. This stupid blue damsel picks on him some, but I, I don't know, he seems to cause the aggression towards the damsel as much as the damsel is towards him. So I think that's a, it as far as new fish go. And then I don't know if we have shown all these corals or not, but we'll just kind of do a pan of the tank. This, uh, this cherry corals 21 tails is getting huge. And the one above it is the cherry corals gold. And this one actually has two full heads. Like it's got more than two heads, but two that are separated uh, with no tissue on them at this point. So. Uh, that's pretty cool. And then this is just a plain old Indo gold behind it. It's getting bigger too. When we bought that one, it was tiny. And above that is our Holy Grail. <clears throat> and I don't know what the one above that is, but we like it. It's kind of closed right now, but it's uh, pretty, pretty green. I think it's an Aussie or a, possibly a Bali torch. Like, cause it's got longer tentacles than the average Aussie, but but it definitely doesn't get the tentacles like the Indos do. And then this one's an Indo green, and it sometimes gets really long tentacles, but it's tiny, so I, I, it doesn't seem to really um, have them, I don't know, it doesn't fully extend its tentacles all the time like these others do. And then the one beside that's a Hellfire, and then up, up above it is a Indo black, they call it, black with yellow tips. And this one, I don't know what that's called, but it's a green torch. And then the rest of the tank, I think, is mostly the same. I don't know if we showed y'all in the last one this pink gani, but this is a bright pink gani. I can't wait for that one to get big. And then we're going to, um, the gani garden is getting bigger and bigger. And we're going to frag this purple one, hopefully tonight. And we'll put a video on of that process for you guys. We fragged this one over here, this red um, aura one. And it's done really well. The frags look great. And the coral itself is fine. It was like nothing ever happened to it. And then we also fragged this wild colony down here. Um, and just got a few pieces off of that, just for practice. And it seems fine too. So we're feeling more confident. We're not quite ready to attack the uh, amaze balls. Gani, but that's the one that's our goal is we want to be able to get a backup of that one so um, if we successfully keep these other ones alive after fragging them then we'll we'll probably try this one next 
I'd like to let it grow a little more, but I also really want to get a backup going. So um, we'll see how much longer we get it. Anyhow, I think that's it for now. Please like, subscribe, and tune in later for our Ghana Pora Fragging. Bye.